Hi, welcome to Barney Tech Channel. Hi, in this section, I am going to show how to test the motor production relay for SEMA code relay by easy and simple method. By using this, we can able to do testing for all kind of relay except this configuration and this hardware. This may be differ. Now we will start briefly about this section. First, I am going to show how to do hardware setup for testing and then going to little modification in the configuration which is necessary for this testing then i am going for meter checking after that only i am going for testing the production now we will see how to set the hardware connection for relay testing we'll have the current sensing and voltage sensing unit the voltage is connected over this plug-in and current is uh, connected over through the CT sensing area. This CT named as a T2 which is used here for external earth fall detecting purpose. So all three phase will go into this CT. The summation of all three current will be directed over here. Any one phase if you get higher or lower magnitude will be detected over this CT. For checking this production, we have to insert one cable and we have to connect to the our kit. For better understanding, I will show with schematic diagram. When you see this, this is the power supply taken from the bus to the motor. And over here, we have the current sensing unit and voltage sensing unit. In here, we are going to connect the voltage to the Omicron kit. And for current, we have to make the all three phase L1, L2, L3 into the CT and other one end of the CT has to connect to Omicron kit, other end of the wire has to short and have to connect to the neutral. Next for tripping feedback, we have to take from the any fault trips signal if you have or you can get from stop command on the fault. I am taking from the stop command which is given to the K1 contact and I have the K1 contact free contact over here so I am taken for tripping feedback. Over here the full load current is 19.03 which is little bit higher so I am going to use the two current source for testing this purpose so I connected two current source in parallel. I hope this hardware connection will be very clear for you. Next we will go for the configuration modification. First of all we have to understand why we are going for configuration modification. For this kind of relay, the all production will be activated only at the actual running condition. But we cannot able to do the testing in actual live condition. So I am going to make a small changes in the configuration and stimulate like actual running condition. To say in simple word for activating the relay production we should have the four step. First one the model should be in service position. Second MCCB should be in on. Third one we have to give on command. Once we give on command we should receive the current. First one and fourth one for this two we, are, we need to do the modification because in service position doing relay testing is very difficult and the fourth one once we give on command to get the current feedback also maybe we get little bit additional timing now to adjust this two we are going for configuration modification first change i am going for changing the trip feedback timing this trip feedback timing is the time between the start command issue and the current sensing unit. In actual running condition, when we issue start command to the motor, the motor will take current and the current sensing unit will be detected very fastly. But in testing condition, when we give the start command and after that when you start to inject the current, it will take some 1 or 2 seconds. So there is a time difference actually here it is 0.5 second it is very difficult to stimulate in 0.5 second so i am increasing the time gap between start command and current sensing here i am making 25 second it is a maximum timing next 
I am going to change the test position feedback. This test position feedback is actually it will be detected when the module in test position. This contact is normally closed. I am making the inverse that is normally open I am making. So that means when it is in test position the relay will consider it is in service. So just in test position itself the relay will sense as a service so I can able to give the start command and I can able to test the relay. For this purpose I am doing like this. After changing this I just upload the file to relay. This configuration will be working when we have the proper coordination between the mode selection and the HMI operation or any local DI operation. Here I am going to make the HMI operation. Now we will go for checking HMI operation. Now I make the module in test position so the relay will think it is in service and I make the MCCB on. So now the condition is just like in live condition. Now I make the module on. Yes, it is. Now I am able to stimulate the on off over here. Now I move to next step. Now I am going to inject current and voltage and I am going to check the accuracy because if we have the high accuracy in metering the production will operate very high accurately. So for this I am checking each and individual phase with different magnitude. This will also help to identify the phase that is L1, L2, L3. Before going to testing the production, we will see the relay settings first. The first uh, we have to see the motor full load current. Here it is 19.03 and trip class 5. Now we will see all uh, production one by one. The thermal overload here we kept 115 percentage. From 115 percentage only it will start to detect. And the uh, cooling time is 300 second. Next we, we have unbalanced production and stall production, short circuit, earth fault and we have additional one supervision, the number of start supervision also he, we have here. Now we will see all these one by one. First we will go for thermal production. For this thermal production, the current setting will be taken from the full load. The full load is 19.03. And the pickup will start from 115 percentage. And next, this tripping will be followed by this tripping class. Here, the tripping class is 5. So, I am going to test for 120 percentage, which is above than 115. When I inject 120 percentage current, that is 22.83 amps into the relay, we must know at what time the relay will issue the trip command. So in order to find the stripping time, we have to find the tripping characteristics of this relay. From manual, I got this tripping characteristics. I am going to plot the 120 percentage where that from where I can pick up the tripping timing. From here, I have found that tripping time is approximately 320 second. Now I am going to check it. I am going to inject the current into the relay 22.83 amps before going for injecting the current into the relay for thermal production we should ensure the thermal percentage of the relay should be at zero here we have the four percentage so we have to make the relay to cool down to get it from to zero we have to wait until the relay thermal go to zero or if you want to go for any shortcut you can follow and we have some few shortcuts just on off this module it will go to directly zero once it go to zero we can start this production testing and we have to wait until it get trip
and now i got tripping is approximately a 360 second which is near to 320 second now i am going for next stall production for this the relay setting is 176 percentage of is 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 nothing but it's a full load current and the tripping time is 0 second for testing this production we must understand the production is blocked until the motor starting time here the motor starting time is a tripping class that is 5 second so initially need to inject the normal current more than 5 second and then need to stimulate the fall current now i am injecting very low current normal current and i wait for some second which is above than 5 and next i am going to ramp it to the fault level more than 176 percentage here i found the relay has been issued tripping or under stall production now we will go for checking unbalanced production now we will see the relay settings the relay settings for unbalanced production is 15 percentage and the trip time is 10 second for this we have to calculate the current for 15 percentage this 15 percentage is not directly we have to multiple with uh, full load current this has some slightly different calculation i will show the easiest method let us consider the current i1 7.7 amps i2 10 amps i3 10 amps that is we have here unbalanced current so for here we have to find the unbalanced percentage for this first i am going to find the average that is we have to add all these and divided by 3 i get 9.23 second step let us consider the variable b equal to the average minus small value among the three phase small value among three phase is 7.7 and the average is 9.23 when i minus it i got 1.533 step 3 i am going to find the percentage here which is b divided by average into 100 that is 1.533 divided by 9.233 which gives 16.6 percentage for this current magnitude i got 16.6 percentage which is above than 15 percentage when we get above 15 percentage of unbalanced current it will issue trip command so for this uh, current value i can able to inject and i can check the unbalanced production if you want to check very accurately very near to 15 percentage we have to make the value correspondingly and we have to check this unbalanced percentage now I am going to inject the value which I calculated into the relay but when I try to start the relay the relay is showing the faulty and you see here this number of start the fault indication came as a number of start this means we exit the number of start per hour here our setting is 3 number of start so we have exit the more than three time the number of start for testing the other production either we have to wait for one hour then only this production will be reset or we have to off this supervision so here for testing purpose i am just going to off this supervision and now i am going to test this unbalanced production when i inject this unbalanced production I got tripped by the unbalance after 10 seconds. Now I am going for short circuit production. The relay setting is 10,000 times of IS, that is our fault current, which is more than. 150 amps approximately 119.3 amps which is high current which cannot be tested by using this omicron kit 
so i am reducing this settings for testing purpose we can reduce to 200 percentage or 300 percentage correspondingly to your suitable value for 200 percentage it is 38.06 or above we can able to inject Now the relay has issued the trip command on short circuit production. Now I go for earth fault. Here I am using external earth fault. If you are using this internal earth fault, no need to make extra wiring. But here the production is external. So I make a additional wiring. And for second slot I1 I use for earth fault. I am going to inject slightly above than 7.62 amps. I have found the relays given trip command on earth fault. Now we came to the end. I hope this full section will be useful to you all. Once you finish this testing, please do not forget to put back the normal or original settings and configuration into the relay. We came to the end of this section. See you on next video. If you like this section, then please share to your friends and colleagues. Take care and bye from Barney Tech channel. Thank you for watching this video.